Hello everybody, uh, Retro Game Nerd here. It's going to be a video for 82 Memo 82. Um, having, wanting to know how to add songs to DW Jukebox and how to change the uh, skins. It's going to be a really quick video on how to do that. First thing you need to do is obviously download DW Jukebox, extract the files to whatever file folder you want. I extract them here to, uh, let me close this window out first here. I extract it first here to uh, this file that I created here. Put all the files within that folder. Uh, you don't really add songs to the DW Jukebox. You uh, just have to edit the INI file and tell it where to find the songs at. So that's how that works. What I did is I created under my drive F, I created a, a folder called test. And I put one MP3 in there just to kind of show you guys how how it works. Um, I didn't want to link it to my actual MP3 file because I got tons of them in there and take a little bit to load up. Um, anyway, what you do is you have a, a file here called jukebox.ini. You open that up. First thing I'm going to show you how is how to is edit the skin. By default, um, your skin is going to look like when you start it up. It's going to look like this. That's what it's going to look like. It's looking for songs right now, and obviously, I don't have any set there, so I didn't get to find any. But how now that one must be one song within there. But anyway, that's what it looks like by default. If you go under your skins folder, um, <coughs> you will. Uh, see a file folder there called B grounds open that up and in here is several different uh, skins you can choose from let's say you like BJ rock 28 you can uh, edit that config file where it says skin 1 equals default just change that to BJ rock 28 Go up to File and click Save. That's it. Now, when you open WinCab, there you go. It's changed your uh, your skin. It's that simple, guys. Next thing I'll show you is how to add songs. And you really don't add songs again. You uh, edit this config file. You're going to hit Control F. Just type in Song Path. I'll go to the song path here. You got two options. Well, by default, this is going to have a pound sign in front of it. But you're going to have um, song path one equals C back or colon backslash documents and settings backslash all users backslash my documents backslash my music. Now, that's probably where it found that one song at. Um, your next one is going to look under is drive D but it's really not going to look under it because if you look here there is a uh, pound sign in front of it what those pound signs mean it basically tells the program to ignore those lines so when it accesses this config file it's going to ignore anything with a pound sign in front of it so for an example I got under drive F I created a, a folder called test and I put one mp3 in there so that's what I changed my my song path to here is F colon test now I gotta remove the pound sign in front of it because if I don't it won't recognize that uh, that line I'll click file I'll click save and it'll save it now when I open up WinCab, there's the song that I have in there which is A1. So if I would want to play A1, I'd just hit A1 on the keyboard. It's that simple. The uh, thing I set my jukebox up to do, though, is to accept coins. And you can do that this way. Hit Control F again to search. Type in coin. This will go down to the coin place here. You got 
insert coin message one equals you can type in after equal whatever you want it to say same thing with insert coin message two you can type in whatever big of whatever it says whatever you want it to say you'll go down here where it says required credits equal false you're going to change that to true okay coin one basically says if you insert one coin or you insert three coins uh, it's going to equal or you insert one coin you're going to get three songs out of it if you insert two coins you're going to get three songs out of it I set mine up if you insert one coin, one song, two coin, two songs, so on and so forth. Um, you can change that to one to one coin equals five songs, however you want to do it. But anyway, you set it to required credits equal true. You're going to go file, save, save that config file. Now when you open WinGab and you try to hit A1, it ain't going to let you. If you read there, it says no selections remaining, insert coins. No selections remaining, insert coins. Now, if you hit insert, it'll insert three credits. Now, you should be able to hit A1, enter, and it'll play the song. I don't have my speakers up, so you ain't going to be able to hear it, but that's what it's doing. hit escape we'll get out of here and that's all it is it's all about editing this config file under jukebox.ini once you edit that you can do anything you want to with this program what I suggest is making a backup of this config file that way if you screw it up you can drop another config file in there and be up and running again anybody has any problem setting this up you know I can edit a config file for you email it to you it's not that difficult if you don't feel comfortable messing with this just let me know I'll be more than happy to do that for you another thing is um, when I set my jukebox up I have a wireless device in there so I can connect to my network and I can pull songs off my network if I want to what I did, or what I noticed, was when I start up the, the computer, I had it set up so it would start DW Jukebox right away. I put it in the startup file. What happened though is it started up DW Jukebox and it started up my wireless device. And then when that wireless device would kick on, it would shut down my DW Jukebox and I have to go back in and restart DW Jukebox. So what I did is I actually wrote a batch file telling, and put that in my startup menu, telling uh, DW Jukebox to wait three seconds and then start up. So what it would actually do is it it load up, it would start the wireless device, then it would start that batch file, and then that batch file would then initiate the program. So that's how mine is set up. I don't know if anybody's having the same ever had that issue, but I did. If anybody has any questions, any comments, let me know. Um, again, I'd be happy to help you out. I uh, hope this helps you out. 82 Memo 82. And you guys have a great day.